trying weird hair tools. The first thing I'm gonna try is this hair tool that's supposed to make fishtail braiding a lot easier. I saw this one and it instantly caught my eye because it looks quite easy to use. So there are two openings, one for each piece of hair, and then you just simply need to pick up little sections of hair from one side and bring them to the opposite side. Now at the beginning, I thought this looked quite easy to do, but soon after I realized that it doesn't look polished at all. It looks quite messy because every time you pick up a section, you're kind of messing it up a little and also after a few crossings I realized that I was picking up sections I had incorporated uh, just one or two crossings before so it looked a little bit weird now I ended up getting rid of the hair tool and doing it the traditional way which in my opinion is a lot easier but if you want to give it a try go ahead and you may make it work since I found it easier to fish doll braid without the hair tool than with it, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. The next hair tool that I'm going to try is this one right here, which is supposed to make your life easier if you're trying to put your hair into a bun, most specifically an Italian bun. So first of all, you need to collect all of your hair and use this sort of clasp and slide it down to start wrapping your hair around it. Next thing you wanna do is try to hide the ends and secure everything in place with the part that looks like a comb. If you have a lot of hair, I doubt that this hair tool is going to help you whatsoever. And if you don't have that much hair, it could do. However, I'm warning you that the final result is quite messy as well. So if you want to make it look a little bit neater, you can throw in some hairpins and bobby pins if you want to obtain better results. In the end, we made it work and it looks quite good, but I still prefer the old fashioned way. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up, but I'm not quite convinced. Don't even get me started on this one. First of all, it looks super awkward. And then all the instructions are in Chinese and the pictures are super small. So you cannot really tell what you need to do with your hair. Like in the end, I figured out how to make it work, but it's not easy, I'm telling you. Let me show you. So take a section of hair, pass it over the U shape, then pass it under the first curve of the S and over the second curve of the S. Take a new section, pass it over the U shape, and then you're going to leave it as it is. And the action starts here. Take a new section of hair and you're going to pass it over the opposite U shape, as I'm showing here, and under the S shape. Now take a new section of hair from the left and you're going to pass it over the opposite U shape and under the S shape. And you need to repeat the same steps over and over again until you're done fishtail braiding. It is extremely complicated. Like, I don't know why someone would choose to fishtail braid this way instead of the regular way. In my view, it is a lot easier to do this hairstyle without the hair tool than with the hair tool. So I'm giving it a big thumbs down. I must admit that I'm a sucker for big hair, but some of you out there have really thin hair and it's difficult for you to get volume. Well, this hair tool has been designed to meet that very purpose. You just need to clip it onto your hair and pinch on it to make it look bigger. If you want some extra volume, you can always back comb your hair a little bit before using the hair tool and it wouldn't hurt if you used a little bit of hairspray. Unlike the previous ones, this hair tool is super easy to use, but there is one drawback. If your hair is thin or straight and you move around a lot during the day, it may end up slipping off. However, I must admit that it looks really nice on, so I'm giving it a thumbs up. This one looks pretty easy to use and it's just two hair ties that connect with a little clasp. So take two sections of hair, tie them with the hair ties and twist them before bringing them to the back. All you need to do then is connect the two. And even though this hairstyle looks a little bit childish or a little bit too formal, I have to admit that it works pretty well and it's easy to use. I'm showing another variation here, and as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. 
And that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channels and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on my website www.patrickjordan.com. Share the love with your friends and see you soon.